flat. Sure, where are you going? The end of the highway. You're not running away from home, are you? Yeah. Did you hear me? Any more groceries out in the car? No. Couldn't afford any more groceries. How come you're so late? Stop by for a couple of drinks with someone from work. Any objections? No, I was just wondering. Aaron! What? Don't scream like that. I marked this label, you know. You did what? I said I marked it. And now there's a hell of a lot less than where I marked. Well, I didn't drink it. You're lying to me. I swear to God, it must have been you. Breathe on me. Oh, come on. Come Mom. on, breathe on me. Mom, I forgot. I'm sorry. Pull it! Don't tell me to pull it! God damn it! I'm the one who works all day so you can sit on your ass and read comic books! You make me sick when you look like that. I can see your father in you. It makes me sick. Well, that's not my fault. I didn't choose him to be my father. You did. Yeah. That was the biggest mistake I ever made. But they didn't have enough to take it. Uh, for a while. Mom's having a hard time right now. But I don't want you to go anywhere. It's okay, then it's for the best. She'll do better if she only has one kid to take care of. You understand. But where are you gonna go? I don't know. I'll find somewhere. Just don't worry about it. I'll call you up sometime, okay?
Come on. Have some fucking fun. Move up. Hey, you like it? Uh, <laughs> 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 Come on, you got some money, man. I spent it all on the dog, oh, you Kaboba. Shout out to Nate, the president, <laughs> take some drugs, <laughs> kill each other. The executioner's curtain call. Fighting back, he found his life drowning. You want to get this club closed down or something before you guys have minds this big? All right, that's enough. Knock it off. For Christ's sake, you turn that spot off, stupid. And I'll give her goddamn clothes back. Are you guys wanting more music? You turn, give her clothes back right now, suckers. That's it, fine. Show's over. You guys are fine. You're on scene here. That's fucking typical. 
All right, give him the music. You call that a car? What a total asshole. Hey kid, pretty fucked up, huh? Mm-hmm. Get up. You need a lift home? I can't go home. Can't sleep on the grass. The snails will crawl on your face. Come on. What's your name? Jack. Jack. Yeah, Jack Diddley. Looks like it's starting to rain. No, that's just the acid rain that comes down every night about this time. Oh, yeah? You ever hear of a guy named Joe Schmo? <laughs> nope, never. <laughs> Well, his old man's a homo, and he can't stand living with him anymore, so we're gonna go pick him up and take him out to TR House, okay? What's TR House? It's one of those houses out by the 605. The county bought him up years ago and just left him sitting there, all boarded up and rotting. A bunch of us live in one of them. It's pretty thrash, but it's free. You up for it? It's not like I have anywhere else to go. <laughs> Stepdad. My real father ate in Vietnam. My mom got married again. God, your stepdad's a cop. Yeah, that's not the worst of it, though. It's black. Black cop. What a drag. Yeah, he came out to TR one time to check it out. Told everyone he was my father. They laughed him right out the door. Parents are so lame. What's that? Uh, my mom's diary. Listen to this. May 10th, 1968. Dear diary, Mark and I are going to be very happy here. The air is clean, skies are blue, and all the houses are brand new and beautiful. They call it suburbia, and that word's perfect because it's a combination of the words suburb and utopia. They didn't realize they'd be the slums of the future. I'm sure with Mark's job at Lockheed, I'll never have to work again. <laughs> Wish. Oh, and by the way, Dari, we want to have a child soon. Suburbia is a great place for children. <laughs> and if it's a boy, we're going to name him Evan Mark Johnson. You know, sometimes I wish he would have had an abortion. Oh, yeah? You're illegal in those days. Joe. In his bedroom. See if you can wake him up. I gave up three hours ago. Yeah, 
I thought I told you to leave that alone. Oh, gee, what's going on? Fabulosa venta de estacionamiento en el Palacio de Ron. El día sábado 9 de agosto de 11 de la mañana a 6 de la tarde. Moving out again, huh, Joe? Don't let him get a goodbye this time? Later days. those dogs over there. Yeah, they're kind of nasty. You gotta watch out for them. I heard they killed a little kid out here the other day. No shit. Where'd they come from? Well, I heard that when people were forced to move from their houses, that someone left their dogs behind and coyotes came down from the hills and fucked them. After a while, wild dogs. Jeez, that's pretty amazing. Where'd you hear that from? the welcoming committee. Roll up your windows. Shit, I'm stuck. Oh my god. <laughs> Flea bags. Razzle, one of the guys at the house, captured a couple of them. He thinks he can train them, but we think he's a little bit tweaked. You want to be next? Huh? A haircut. How about a haircut? Oh, uh, no thanks. I just had a haircut. You did? Could have fooled me. Slim Pickens. Come on. Hey, Jack, he's not going to get in the hair tight. Oh, that's she, huh? <laughs> that's very funny. Stay with us. We'll be back after these messages. Are you experiencing feelings of alienation, depression, or loneliness? We at Southwest Woodside Hospital know that these are cries for help. We're only a phone call away. Oh, yeah? I know somebody who checked into one of those places, and you know what it costs? What? 800 bucks a week. Our trained counselors are experts in improving social behavior patterns. What did you say? Ones which are drug and alcohol related. I said if you had 800 bucks a week, you probably wouldn't be depressed in the first place. That's true. What's your name? Evan. You got a burn, Evan? Burn? Rodney on the rock. We just heard the band. Oh, burn. Nobody's supposed to stay here unless they get a burn. See? It's kind of nice. Comes out like this. 
Jesus, got to be there all your yeah. life. Well, that's the idea. See, if we didn't do that, we'd have all kinds of flakes hanging around. Yeah, well, this may be a stupid question, but what does it stand for anyways? It stands for the rejected. Sounds really stupid to me. Yeah, well, stupid or not, I don't have anywhere else to go. It's like some kind of ridiculous initiation or something. So? So I'm leaving. You want me to drive you back? No, I'll hitch. I'm sure you got better things to do. Watch out for Big Bad Wall. The dogs. Watch out for the dogs. Came back. Oh, yeah. How come? Well, because. Well, I'll tell you about it someday. If I ever get to know you better. You gonna get a burn? Guess so. I never thought twice about getting mine. Is that right? Why not? Because I have so many scars already. What kind of scars? Uh, this guy. Jesus, what's that from? I'll tell you about it someday if I ever get to know you better. They're killing the dogs. Good. They're not killing my dogs. the war up your ass up your ass i'd like the long end of this rifle of your ass 
Save it, Skinner. Look. What's the occasion? We're just out here doing our Good Samaritan work for the day. Did you hear about the little boy that got killed by the dogs out here? We heard about it. Hey, we got a little one over here. Goddamn gun. Well, little ones grow up to be big ones. You, you know. got papers for these guns? Uh, officer, we're from Citizens Against Crime. Uh, most citizens are against crime, sir. The question was, do you have papers for the guns? Guns are all registered. Jim Triplett. Bob Stokes. Yes, sir. You know it's against the law to use firearms inside the city limits, don't you? Yes, sir, we sure do, but uh, this side of the street's county property. Well, maybe if we decide to come back again, we should inform the department, uh, Officer uh, Renard. Maybe you should. Well, I know what you're probably thinking. You just don't like private citizens doing your work for you. You're right. By the way, Officer, is, uh, is that legal inside of city limits? The hell? Hey, maybe we should look into that. No. That's our job. We'll handle it. Got a big kick out of shooting that dog, didn't I? Yeah, it's kind of fun. Fuck. Well, that car looks awfully familiar. Maybe we should run a make on it. It should. That's the car I gave my son Jack last year when I bought my new one. Sure looks like he's fucked it up. Son of a bitch, that is your old Ford. Come on, let's go check the place out. No, I'm more worried about our vigilante sharpshooters than I am about a bunch of teenagers in a crash pad.
little sad on me. <laughs> well, too bad. That was cool. Burned up. <laughs> It's a nice camper. But if you're so in love with it, why are you selling it? Oh, we don't want to. We've got a lot of money tied up in this. Yeah, you know, we've used it just about every weekend for the last three years, but since the layoff, we've had to cut back a little on recreation. Oh, you were with GN. Twelve long years. Fourteen for me. It's a hell of a note. Makes it tough to get out and have a good time when you can't afford the gas. Tell you what. Let me think about it. Maybe I'll give you a call. Have a nice day. Have a nice day, my ass. And you can't work. You can't hunt. You can't sell the damn trip. Can't do jack shit. Come on, let me buy you a beer. Is there something special you were looking for? Yeah. Got any vibrators? Not you again. If you are at least 18 years old, you may designate a donation of your body or heart to for a medical transplant in case of your death. The department can supply you with a donor to the back of your driver's license or ID card. If you're looking for fine quality sofas, look no more. Today and tomorrow only with name brand's new low prices, you can have the sofa you've been looking for plus a matching chair at a price you'd expect to pay for just the sofa. For $4.97, you can own this traditional brand sofa with wood trim plus the matching chair or this colonial nylon center print. Where are you going, kid? Get a drink of water. Here, sit down. Drink this. Water's no good. Just here. Everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah, you never know where the toxins are going to creep in. My aunt lived in a house that was built on a hazardous waste dump. Last April, she had a baby, and it was born with no ears. No ears? Fuck. Yeah, I know these people who had a baby that was born with two rows of teeth on top. Jeez, some kind of a monster. Yeah, I just think by the year 2000, there will be one big chemical wasteland. Yeah, all contaminated and creepy with gross bubbling vines hanging off the dead trees. All the mutants be roaming around bumping into each other. Yeah, my dad was in Vietnam and he had some of that Agent Orange crap dumped on him. Had some adverse effects. Like what? Uh, his fingernails fell out, loss of sexual appetite, and this. <laughs> Dee, guess what? What? Chicken butt. <laughs> so I walked in the house and my father he threw me down on the living room floor and held me there. And my mother cut all my clothes off with a pair of scissors. And then they made me stand there while they burned her right in front of me. And I was nude. Really? All because they didn't like the way you dressed? 
Yeah, and I look just the way I do now. I don't know what the problem was. Hey, Jack. What's with that Sheila girl? Yeah, she's pretty weird. Why? I don't know. She bugs me. She's always staring at me. She is? I heard she doesn't even like guys. What do you mean? She likes girls? No, no. I heard she hates sex. How could anybody hate sex? You're asking the wrong guy. She looks so sad all the time. This poor little rich bitch has always looked that way. Razzle told me she tried to kill herself a couple of times. Really? Yeah. He asked her why. Know what she said? What? She said, pick a reason. Hey, Poochies. I know this is what you've been waiting for. Come on up. Come here. Come on. Sit. Hey, check it out. They did it. <laughs> what? <laughs> That was much. Stop. Oh my god. When I went Count 1001, 1002. This takes about two seconds. If you <laughs> stupid mutt! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! See what happens when you get so wiped out? You gotta stop bringing dope around here. You're like some old 60s hippie dirt merchant. Yeah, groovy man. Thanks for helping me out, brother. You must be a Pisces. Jeez. Of course, he looks like the worst driver than me. This was the scene this afternoon. My mom's got a car like that. Grove Boulevard. And the vehicle, driven by 35-year-old Tina Johnson, came... That is her car. The intersection. Three shoppers were seriously injured, and Mrs. Johnson was booked on felony drunk driving. <laughs> nice going, Mom. Throughout the Southwest tomorrow, we can expect high clouds and temperatures in the mid-70s. <laughs>
Hold on, it's coming. It's coming. Come on. Yeah. 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 That's what I thought you were going to say. I think he was crazy. He would get this look in his eye. And I would know. Uh-oh, trouble. I would wake up in the night and he'd be touching me all over. He'd get all turned on, you know? And then instead of actually raping me, he could stop himself by beating me up. Does that make any sense? Oh, my God. 
okay, where are you going? You all right? TR stand for? Totally ridiculous? <laughs> this guy's begging for it. Come on, fucker! Fuck you are. Come on, fucker! <laughs> hey, there's Skinner. Get out of here, too. Watch it, smartass. Hey! You got a rat on your shoulder. 
Take your jacket off. Take it to you. What for? We'll tell you later if you do it. Aren't you glad it's finally your turn to sleep in the bed? I sure am. It's kind of like my bed was at home. Bet the sheets were cleaner at home. Ethan, do you miss your mom? Yeah. I kind of do, but I bet she doesn't miss me. Why do you say that? Because she used to always call me a pain in the ass. That's why. Ah, uh, I bet she didn't mean it. You're a real good little kid. All you do is play all day and mind your own business. You're sweet. Have you hugged your kid today? So <laughs> fuck off, Razzle. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, where were we? Hansel and Gretel. In the morning, the wicked witch grabbed Hansel by the hand and carried him to the shed. She said to Gretel, You must draw water and cook something nice for your brother, and when he's fattened up, I'll eat him. Dear God, Gretel cried, oh, won't you help us? Stop your blubbering, said the wicked red-eyed witch. It won't do you a bit of good. Every morning the witch would say, hold out your finger and let's see if you're getting fat. But Hansel held out a chicken bone. Oh, come on, don't stop. But he's asleep. But why not? Read it to us, come on. Aren't you a little old for fairy tales? Uh-uh, please. Soon the witch got very impatient. Oh there, Gretel, go get water and don't dwaddle. Skinny or fat, I'm gonna butcher Hansel tomorrow. doing our shopping. You ever think of that? Right, wise guy. Just get the hell out before I call the police. What a character. Yeah, for sure. That guy's an asshole. I saw him selling PCP to some little kids once. What a dick. Yeah. What we need is some beer. Yeah, our nerves are wrecked. Beer! I hate beer. And an ice cream for Ethan. All right. Hey, walk like this. Nice day, huh?
All right, very funny. Let's see some ID. Look, I don't need this. Don't come back here. I don't need your business. Okay. But let me have one of those slushies over there and make it a blue one. All right, that's, uh, 323. Thanks! Happy Easter, asshole. <laughs> 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 Bye. Goddamn little bastards, come in here and fuck up my store. Scum of the earth. And I live over on Heatherton Avenue, which is a nice neighborhood, or at least it used to be. Now all you get are these wild teenagers parading through like a bunch of terrorists. Here, here. Yes, the little bastards were fighting on my front lawn. I had to hold them off with a shotgun while my wife called the police. And it took me over an hour to get through. Yeah, and that's another thing. The police aren't doing a goddamn thing. Excuse me, Reverend Powell. It just so happens we have a member of the police department with us here tonight. We have uh, reports of vandalism and robbery just like any other city. And we follow up on each and every one of them. Follow up? You came to my house three hours later. Well, we've got a responsibility by law to adhere to certain procedures. Well, while you're going through procedures, people's homes are being ruined by these monsters. Look, I've had to repaint the sidewall of my store five times already. Every time I turn around, there's a TR spray painted on it. What the hell is TR anyway? Sandra says there was a stabbing recently at the club where she was molested, and that those same letters were left near the weapon, in blood. Did you investigate that house like you said you would? No, not yet. Typical. You know, Renard, I get the feeling you're not doing your job. And I get the feeling you're using innocent people as scapegoats. Scapegoats? We're talking about a bunch of sickos. Metal rejects running wild in our street. We're talking about kids. Kids like yours and mine. Ha! Huh. Well, I'm damn sure they aren't my kids. Gentlemen, please. Can we be reasonable? I know times are tough and some of you people are up against it. Look, Bernard. If the police can't protect the people, then the people have to protect themselves. And take the law into their own hands? If that's what it comes down to. And use guns to solve your problems. You're damn right. Okay, mister. Hold it right there. Identify yourself. Hi. I'm Bill. Don't shoot. Where's Jack? Peeling potatoes. Uh, <clears throat> perfect. What are you doing here? I need to talk to you. Well, let's go outside then, okay? No, I need to talk to all of you. What for? Hi. I'm Jack's father. Stepfather. You're a cop. Yes, I am, but that's not the reason why I'm here to talk to you. I hate cops to the max. Listen, you kids are making a pretty bad reputation for yourselves. Last night I was at a meeting and... What? <laughs> Just let me tell you. You got people down on you. What happened?
Look, you're gonna have to listen up sooner or later. I'm not leaving until you do. What do I have to do for Christ's sakes? Pay you? So I think it's best for all of you to go back to your homes until this thing blows over. You don't seem to understand. Most of us don't have homes to go back to. My parents are dopers and the state won't even let me go home. All they do is shove me into foster homes. Let me tell you, that sucks big eggs. What do you do here all day? Nothing. Watch TV. Don't you want to make anything of yourselves? What's to make? Well, there's families for one thing. Careers, college. Families. Everyone knows families don't work. College? Most of us couldn't afford lunch in high school. What do you kids do for money? Take bribes off cops. <laughs> <laughs> Please, Mr. Policeman, don't make us leave our home. We'll be good from now on. We promise. Yeah, this is the best home most of us ever had. Besides, if we didn't have each other, we wouldn't have anything. Look. You're going to have to stay out of trouble. If you don't, somebody's going to get hurt. Everybody's got guns these days, and you're just itching to use them. Do you understand? Let this be the last time I hear of T.R. Let this be the last time I hear of T.R. Maybe we should get guns, too. I already have a gun. Let's just move someplace else. My old else. Gun has a shotgun. Come on. Don't look so worried. Everything's gonna be all right. I know I could get a 45, but I have to steal it. Let's, Let's go, go to the Frisco! Right. You still got good taste in women. What do you want? We want to let you know we're sick of your shit. This is what you might call a warning. If there's any more trouble from you creeps, some heads are going to roll. You filthy whore! You get the message? Next time, we'll do more than tear off somebody's shirt. Holy fuck. You know what I was thinking? No, what was you thinking? Has anyone seen my shirt? Yeah, you're wearing it. Fuck this shirt, asshole. My yellow shirt. If somebody took that shirt, I'll knock their fucking teeth out. They'd want that shirt. Don't call me an asshole. Then where is it then? What the hell's wrong with you? I can't find my fucking shirt, can't you hear? Well, I can't find my fucking dope. It's not where I hit it. If I know you, you're probably too twisted to remember where you put it. I remember distinctively. Distinctly. Whatever. I had a jar of 25 black triangles, and I put them in my sleeping bag down by my feet. 
And now they're gone. All I know is I go to all the trouble, put nails up all over the place, keep things organized, and now I can't find my goddamn shirt. Sentiments precisely. Hey, open this door. Open this door right now. Sheila? What's going on? You and your stupid dope. This is what I think you're dope. What are you doing? What would you do that for? That's crazy. Sheila's dead. That's what happened to your stupid dope. What? She was dead. To my friends, don't be mad at me for doing this, but I really don't want to stick around any longer. I'm sorry. I hope all of you have fun with your lives. The time I have lived with you is the best part of my life. Thanks. I love you all, especially Joe. Gone forever, Sheila. P.S. I hope you don't have to move. Huh, that's funny. I hope you don't have to move. Do you hear something out there? No, Ethan. Just sit down and be quiet for a while. So what are we gonna do? I think we all should decide. Aren't you supposed to call the police when somebody dies? Great. That's just what we need. What about the coroner? If we do that, then they'll call the police. Right. And they're probably going to try and blame it on us. Don't you think we should let our parents know? God damn it, Keith, man. If it wasn't for you, none of this shit would have happened in the first place. Yeah, I always knew something like this would happen. Some friend you are. Oh, Mr. No, jerk, you fucking druggie. Why don't you just leave him alone? Why don't you alone? shut up? Keith is our friend, too. You don't have to rag on him. Wait a minute. It was so good before. Just take her home. Do what? Let's just take her home. Yeah, when Cindy Bartholomew OD, her friends put her in the front seat of her mother's car. Well, that's pretty crappy. We're not going to do that. I know where Sheila's parents live. We could just bring her home.
Yes? Are you Sheila's father? Yes, I am. Well, we're sorry to tell you this, but she killed herself. What is this, a joke? No, it's not. Please, take her. Didn't know what else to do. We'd like to go to the funeral, if you don't mind. Sorry, but the mother requests that you leave. Holy! Leave? How come? Please just do as we ask. My wife's really very upset. We aren't feeling that great either, believe me. We understand. Good, then will you leave? The mother really doesn't want you here. Neither do I. Well, we don't want to leave. But you have to. I mean, look at you. We didn't have any nice clothes to wear. We're sorry. Will you please show these young people out? Why don't you just visit the grave after we've left? Or maybe tomorrow. Sheila was our friend, and we have every right to be here if we want to. We're staying right here. No, you are not. We're sitting all the way in the back here. Can't you just ignore us? No, we can't ignore you. We don't want you here. We didn't like you when Sheila was alive, and we don't like you now. If it weren't for you, she'd finally still be alive. No, asshole. If it wasn't for you, she'd still be alive. Don't you say that. You don't know anything about us. Yes, I do. Sheila told me all about you. She told me how you couldn't keep your hands off you her. You shut up! You molested your own daughter, you scumbag. And then you beat her. She showed me the scars. You're a fucking asshole, you know that? <laughs> Come <laughs> on.
CR. Me? Yeah, you. Come here. Where's Jack? Sod, I guess. Go in there and find him and tell him to get his ass out here right now. Attitude after what you pulled. We went to our friend's funeral, all right? Big deal. You beat the shit out of your friend's father. He's in the hospital, in case you didn't know. You can't piss off people the way you do, Jack. This time you've bit off more than you can chew. Somebody's gonna stop you. Personally, I'd like to see all of you in jail for a while. Yeah, book him, Dano. I'm not gonna arrest you, but I do want you out of that house. If you don't leave, somebody's gonna get hurt. I want you out tonight. What? No way. You can forget it. Where are we supposed to go? Anywhere. Just get out of that place. If these people can't find you, they can't hurt you. I want you to tell your friends to get out there and pack up their things tonight. It's for your own good. I'll be out there in a few hours and make sure that you're gone. Hey. You could come home, you know. Your mother would like you. Trash this place before we leave? Trash it? This is so fucked, I can't believe it. So what are you gonna do? Go back home, I guess. Bag City. What about you? I don't know. 
All right, I've got it. Here's what we're going to do. Check it out. I'm going to go siphon some gas out of your car. Then when we get ready to leave, right before we leave, we'll set the whole place on fire. <laughs> It'll be fun to watch it burn. Don't you think? Whatever. <laughs> I've been looking all over for you. Your wife doesn't even know where you are. So? Come here, I want to talk to you. Come over here. Did you hear what happened? No, what? Oh, I don't want anything fancy. Give him a scotch on the rocks. They buried one of those kids today. A 16-year-old girl. Really? O.D.? I don't know, but are you ready for this? Those kids busted in and raided the funeral home. They tore the place apart. Are you shitting me? Wait a minute. What in the fuck are we doing? I don't know about you, but there's no way anyone's gonna make me leave this place. Tom, wake up and smell the coffee, man. It's hopeless. Your old man only wants us to leave because he doesn't think we can take care of ourselves. That's bullshit. We're smarter than those assholes. Yeah, seems like if they run us out of this place, they'll, they'll just run us out of the next place we find. Well, my old man's coming back later, and if we're still here, he's gonna shit Twinkies. Can you imagine how that girl's mother felt? Her only daughter up there in a box, and those son of a bitches come in, wreck the place, and then brutalize the family? Unbelievable. I mean, I'm not religious, but if you ask me, that's downright sinful. Well, Jack, what's it gonna be? We've got a match! Got a match? Save it, Razzle. We're staying. Staying? Yeah, we're not leaving this place without a fight. Shit. We're gonna have to go back out there. That's what I was thinking.
Shit face. 